Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin up here in the Inwood neighborhood of New York City. Out walking the big guy on Thursday, February 19th, 2015. And today I'm happy to announce that yesterday my Raspberry Pi 2 quad core ARM processor $35 computer arrived which was sent to me by Element 14 asking if I'd be interested in doing another unboxing video. And as I am in need of my next micro server for Pipulate, I said yes indeed. But the timing was interesting because <clears throat> only about a week prior, without knowing the Pi 2 was on its way, I shelled out 150 bucks for the uh, Q-Box, C-U-B-O-X, uh, tiny little quad-core ARM processor, microcomputer uh, from this Israeli company. And uh, that arrived a few days prior to the Pi 2. So now I have two unboxed microservers sitting in a tiny little office that I'll be giving up uh, at the end of March. So I'm going to use this window to do, I think it's going to be one unboxing videos of both. And I'll have all the old Raspberry Pis lined up so I can compare the uh, B to the B plus to the B2. And uh, I don't know if I'll go all the way to headless server like I did on the B plus. Uh, that'll probably be broken out to a separate video. But I'll certainly do the unboxings and the initial power-ons. And I'm thinking for the Pi 2, I'll show the installation of Windows 10. There seems to be a lot of interest there. It's of limited actual use to me. And I believe it's the version that they made for the Microsoft Surface non-pro versions because those are ARM processors as well. So they did the work and I guess they figure they want to be part, or they don't want to be left out of the maker community and the whole generation of kids. Because, you know, Pies have sold 5 million units and that's nothing in terms of iPhone numbers. But in terms of something that's, you know, an unhoused electronics component to be used in kits and in projects that call for a full-fledged computer as a mere component, that's a huge number, huge. And uh, it does in fact shift, uh, represent that change the world shift that I implied in the first video that all the silly YouTube Xbox gamers jumped on and said, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, sometimes I do know what I'm talking about. And so, uh, the main consumer interest, I, I suppose I have to admit, is the fact that these things have powerful little video chips in there that makes them perfectly capable of being XBMCs, they call them, Xbox Media Centers. Basically, they become, you know, things that can play video on your big HDMI HDTV. So there is that, and consumerism does play a bit into those enormous numbers for the Pi. But I like to think it's just as much for people who want to learn something and become more powerful and escape the consumerism trap. So the actual work I'll be doing today in preparation for the unboxing tomorrow is reviewing the process by which I run Pipulate as both a web server, as a native Python web server, I might add. There is no Apache in the picture. There's no Engine X. There's none of that other stuff that people use even as lightweight servers like Getty. Um, it's just Python, what's built into the Python. Uh, you can run a Python file serving web server with one line of code. I'm not doing that. I'm using the Flask Micro Framework, but that's another story. The other way Pipulate is going to be running is just on a continuous Python loop, one script executing over and over in either a recursive or an iterative loop. I haven't decided yet. And uh, that is going to have a, uh, uh, oh, actually both the web server and the uh, looping Python script are gonna have cron jobs so that if they happen to quit out, which is possible, 